So I'm just uh, trying out my new desoldering gun. And uh, I've just done one capacitor, the first time I've used this thing. It went beautifully. So uh, I've just reinstalled reinstall the new one. It's going to do the next capacitor, which is just down here. It's a 10UF. Uh, I've just got to find the pads. I think the one's there. Maybe it's not that one there. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. It's there. Next one up. Okay. See, it works beautifully. There it is. 10 with 35 volt. You want here? Are you ready, ready to go in? So, yeah, all good. At least on this board, they actually have the uh, polarity marked. Not <laughs> some radios don't even have that. Interesting, the other polarity is reversed compared to the trace on the board. Which is interesting. Anyway, I expect it was correct. There you go. Right, so in. So as easy as that. I'll just quickly resolve that. This stuff is it's big chunky solder, but um, it's got heaps of flux in it, so I don't actually need to add extra flux because it's got plenty in it. it does the job quite nicely. Um, you know, that's so what you get when you get a decent brand solder. This is multi core solder. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. Yes, uh, certainly do wish that I'd bought a uh, desoldering tool a lot sooner than this, based on how easy that is to use. I really shouldn't have waited that long. Here we go, so I'll do a little video on that.